Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you the new features available in version 5 of the Bygen add-on which is releasing alongside this video. We'll start with the new features and then later on we'll briefly mention some of the changes from the previous versions. When you install version 5, one of the first things that might stand out to you is this new area in the tools panel in the right toolbar labelled interpreter. This is a completely new feature to the add-on that allows users to turn the modifier stack of a selected object, including all associated generated textures, into text-based data. An example of this data can be seen on the left. This allows you to send generative styles to other people by copying and pasting text rather than sending entire blend files. And as well as this, it means you'll be able to build up your own library of templates, which can easily be saved and applied to any other object. I'll demonstrate how it works now. I'm going to open a clean file, then press Shift A, navigate to Bygen, Templates, Hard Surface, and then select the original Hard Surface Faceting mode. I'll make adjustments to some values in the modifier stack to change it slightly. Now let's say I want to save this stack as a template somewhere, or just send it to another friend. What I can do with the interpreter is generate a text file containing all of the relevant data to reconstruct this modifier stack. With our object selected, I can enter the name I want our output file to have, and click Generate Output Text. If we go to the text editor window, you will be able to find the result in the text file dropdown. Notice that all of the information required to reconstruct the generated textures used in the modifier stack has also been included. Applying modifier stacks to objects in the scene from text is just as easy. What I'll do is create a new cube object, then with it selected, I'll enter the name of the text file I want to input, and then click apply style from text. Bygen will automatically read through the data and reconstruct it exactly in the style of the original object. Feel free to play around with the interpreter and start building your own library of template styles. Some things to note about the interpreter is that only regular value types are written as data, and any modifier or texture values that are considered read-only by Blender are ignored. Some values, such as object references, are not exported with the text data and will need to be set up manually. It has also been written in a way that should support any future modifiers, but there are bound to be some occasional issues as Blender is constantly changing. If you encounter any issues with the interpreter, then make sure to let me know, by providing me with copies of the errors and any problematic generated text. Now let's take a look at some of the other new features. If you go to Shift A, Bygen, then Generators, you will see a new option called Spherical Field. This works exactly the same as the Cubic Field operation, as demonstrated in my video Making a Sci-Fi Environment with Bygen, except it generates spheres instead of cubes. Another addition to the Shift A menu under Templates and Hard Surface is a new option called Midge Cell. This is named after Midge, aka the Mantisa, who is well known for doing really cool and divergent things with generative techniques in Blender. If we select it, it will place down a cube that's been subdivided, displaced, and remeshed into a collection of cell type regions. If we go to the remesh modifier, we can increase the arc tree depth to give us a higher resolution of the blocky structure. Since this is a template object, you can go into edit mode and start extruding boundaries to see what kind of results it will give you. With a high arc tree depth and interesting base geometry, you can very quickly piece together these strange abstract shapes. A large amount of the effect is controlled by the generated distorted noise texture that's assigned to the displace modifier, so it's worth going into that and modifying the values. This effect is also available as a modification style, so if you have a pre-existing object, then in the modify panel you can select Midge Cell from the dropdown and click apply style to add it to the selected object. As well as those new features, there have been some other smaller additions and changes. In the cubic field generator, the position deviation values have been simplified to make it easier to use. The clay blob template now has parameters that can be manipulated on creation, and the meta cloud generator has also been given parameters to let you manipulate the result. In terms of bug fixes, the meta cloud generator and pixelate styles were broken in a recent version of 2.8, due to a change in the behavior of the build modifier. This has now been fixed, but that means these modes will now only work with versions of Blender that have been released after the build modifier was changed. So if you download this new version and all of a sudden they stop working, then please update your Blender. So that will wrap it up for this update video, remember you can download Bygen for free on Gumroad from the link in the description. If you pick it up on Blender Market, it will be available for the price of $1, but that's because they don't allow free products on the site, and I've set it up so a percentage of the earnings go straight towards the Blender Development Fund. Thank you again to all of you who have been leaving donations on the products, specifically Bygen, as well as those of you who are giving on Patreon. You are the reason why I can keep working on these tools and making resources for you to have fun with. I really enjoy doing this kind of work, and I would definitely like to keep doing it. Rest assured, there will be a lot more to come in the future, so don't forget to follow me on all the social media platforms to keep up to date. You can also join our community Discord server to get sneak previews and upcoming content. And just as a reminder, I'll be at the Blender conference on the 24th of October if anyone wants to come and say hi. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.